So here I've got an alignment and I've created three uh, very simple driveway profiles um, to use in our example. Now these profiles are very simple. They're just a flat elevation. So I've created a different colored shape on each one to tell them apart. So on the first one, I put a green circle. On the second one, I put a green rectangle. And on the third, I just put a green uh, B spline so we can very easily tell them apart. Now let's go back to the first profile. So what I want to do is I want to just go through our standard process that we're all very familiar with and we want to put this profile onto a um, sheet. So we'll go up under drawing production. We'll bring up our uh, name boundary tool and I'm going to choose one of my existing sheets. Now in this case, I'm going to choose a profile profile. Now, this is a sheet C that has two slots available um, for, for profiles. I, I could very well go and have a one that has three slots or four slots or whatever the case may be, but mine has two. So I'm going to modify the, the length and height of this name boundary to better fit the uh, confines of this particular uh, profile. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the sheet. Uh, once again, this is something we've all seen uh, multiple times. Very simple, straightforward uh, process. And you can see it takes the profile and it automatically places it into slot one and it leaves slot two uh, still available. Okay. Now let's go back to our geometry file here and let's go open up our second profile. Now, what I want to do here is I want to um, I want to create a, a drawing model for this particular profile and place it on the exact same sheet. So once again, I select the same sheet seed, uh, the profile profile. I'm going to change the length and height on this one to better fit the confines of this particular um, uh, driveway profile here. Uh, once we've uh, got it set, we'll say OK. You can see we've got our Create Drawing uh, option or toggle enabled. Now, the difference here is now instead of creating a new sheet, I'm going to append to the sheet that I just created. OK. Now, when I do that under Drawing Boundary, I can see all the available slots. So in my case, I only had two slots. So the only option I have available is two. But if you had a sheet seed, for example, with four slots, you could choose slot two, three, or four. Um, and so we're going to append to the sheet and choose the slot that we want it to go in. In my case, as I said, I only have slot two. So we're going to say OK. And it's going to do exactly what I ask it to do. It's going to append that driveway profile to the previously created uh, sheet. And it's going to place it down in slot 2. Okay, and this works great. Now, you can see the problem here, or what we might uh, see as a potential problem, is that no matter how many slots you have, you could always potentially fill them up and still, and still have additional profiles to um, to, to create. So we're going to show you how that works. So in, in our case, I've got a third profile. I've already filled up both of the uh, both of the slots. So I'm going to go ahead and do just exactly what I did earlier. Select the profile profile seed. We'll change our our height and uh, width one more time to more appropriately fit this particular driveway profile. You can see I've got the create drawing toggle on. It brings up the dialog. Once again, I'm not going to create a new sheet. I'm going to append to the old one, but you'll notice there's no slots available, but that's okay. Um, when the software runs into this situation, it just goes ahead and creates a new slot for you. So it just creates its own slot three and places it in the middle of the sheet. So you can see, even if you had four slots filled up, you could add a fifth and sixth profile. Or if you had six slots filled up, you could add a seventh, eighth, and ninth profile. It'll just continue to add them as long as you ask it to. Now, obviously, in a situation like this, there's going to be a little bit of manual work to do, right? You, you may have to pick these profile references up and move them around on the sheet uh, to make it more visually pleasing. But you can see no matter how many profiles you have in this situation, this workflow will handle it.